What's going on guys, before this video starts, I wanted to just say I apologize for the lighting, it got dark as I made this video, it's dark right now, and um, I hope y'all stay for the end, it's probably one of the most important videos to me, it's really sentimental to me, and it honestly kind of hurt my heart to talk about, but, you know guys, I do it for y'all, and uh, yeah, so enjoy guys. What's going on YouTube, Triple H here, Hilton here, I'm bringing y'all a video on in my opinion, most important things you can do as a person while you're still young. While you're still most of the people who are watching this video's age and doing your thing. And as many of y'all know, we've got Columbus in about a week. I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start the video. What are the most important things? One, stay healthy. Staying healthy is key to everything. Exercising, getting out, doing your activities, doing your things not getting overwhelmed and all the other things that may bother you or doing anything. Exercise betters the mind and betters your entire day to be honest. It betters almost everything that you do. Next thing, set goals. Set goals for your future. Figure out in a sense kind of the, the directional path where you want to go. To be honest, I've done my own things. I've done my own work and I've done my own stuff. And to be honest, I still have no idea where I want to go in my future. I mean, I for sure have ideas. And I for sure have goals and I for sure have an idea of where I kind of think I want to end up. But realistically, I have no idea. Set goals, work, toward, work towards them, try to figure out what you want to do and kind of just set goals that are going to be ultimately bettering yourself as a person. Like, there's certain, there's certain goals that are unachievable at this point in time in our lives. And I mean, to be honest, I think every goal is achievable, but at some periods of time, not every goal is the right goal. Certain goals are for certain periods of time in your life and certain things are supposed to happen at certain times and they're all going to work out how they're supposed to work out but but it is very it's very key to set the goals that you want and set the goals that you think that are going to ultimately be, make you a better person in the long run. Short-term goals, yeah, they're great. Long-term goals, those are the ones that really do change things. They change your life. They change everything around you. They change the people around you they could take you to a whole other place of the world that you don't even know but long-term goals are much more important than short-term goals next thing you're not always right people our age always assume that they're always right when I was younger I mean I'm only 19 now but when I was younger I always thought that I was always right I was fully and totally mistaken assume that you have a chance of being wrong even if you really do think you're right and if you are wrong, be able to forgive and understand the person that corrected you. Change how you were wrong and then adapt to it and then become right in that category. Then you're right in one more thing than you were before. Egos and pride are roadblocks that, come, that you come across in your lives. And to be honest, you just have to go past them, surpass them, and just keep on moving, keep on going. Harm your life if you don't just go past those things and get through them and get through the egos and pride and whatever you may have and just get past those and succeed and get towards being more right and get towards being better and get towards greater things than what you think you're doing now there's always something better there's always something worse no matter how bad you think you have it no matter how good you think you have it there's always something better just like in temper's video there could be someone across the street that has a hundredth of the opportunities that you have, but they're a thousand times happier than you are. That's what really made me start thinking. There's these people in other world, con like other countries in the world, and like a maybe even across the street, maybe even your neighbor, maybe even your best friend, and you don't even know it. They have, they could have more or less than you. And they could still be happier, even though you think that you're doing better off, doing better doing at this, better at this, better at that, better at that. But they have found a genuine happiness in themselves. It's a genuine happiness that is greater than any other thing. It's one of the most important things that you can find in yourself. One of the most important things that I found in myself is genuine happiness with myself. Who I am what I like, who I am, my friends, and how I treat my friends, how I'm going to live my life, and how I'm going to do those things. That's something that I pride myself in. And it's just, it's a major thing that kids our age need to learn, and I think it's important for you all to know. Next thing, 
Remember that you, just like everyone else in this world, have the power to change the world. You have the power to do whatever you want to do in this world. You, you matter. You matter to this world and you have the potential just as much as any other individual in this world, no matter what background, no matter what situations you come from, to change this world and to change it for the better. Change it to how you want it to be. You can change the world. It is an actual thing. The easiest thing to do in the world, but hey, you only have one life. Make the most of it. Live every day 100%. Next thing, happiness. I know I just talked about happiness, but I just wanted to reiterate the genuine happiness that you can find inside of yourself that can just better your life in every single category of your life without you even knowing it. The happiness you can find within yourself is greater than any other thing you can ever say, and any other thing you can ever do, and any other thing that could ever happen to you. The genuine happiness in yourself, no matter where the situation occurs, you're still genuinely happy in yourself. That in itself is something to be proud of. That is, some, that is something that you can literally look at and say, no matter what happens, I'm happy. I'm a happy person. I'm in, I love what I've done and I love what I did and this is, this is great. I love, I love this. And just as John Lennon said, he had this quote, this was the key to life. When I was at school, they asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wrote down happy. They told me I didn't understand the assignment and I told them that they didn't understand life. That quote has changed my life. That quote is such a, it's got such a deeper meaning than the outer layer that just says happiness is the key to life. It goes so much deeper than that, that it's almost, it's almost difficult to even explain in this video. And I'm sitting here looking at this little GoPro thing, tiny as anything. And it's just, it's, it's such a big topic that I honestly, I couldn't make enough videos about it to even explain it. It's such an important thing that I just have to keep on talking about it. And then on to my last thing. And on to my last thing. Your entire life is in a sense defined by what you give to others. It's not about what you have or what you receive or what you do. It's whether you want to admit it or not, you always have something to give. Every day, practice a habit of giving something. Even if it's something small, like a compliment, you always have something to give. There's always something that you could do to better someone else's happiness and make them a happier person. You never know what could happen to any of these people that are around you. Any of these people could be gone at any period of time. Make compliments while they happen, because in your future, they're all going to be dead. You're going to be dead. Everyone's going to be dead. So make the most of the happiness that you could possibly have at this period of time. Paying it forward. Paying it forward is one of the most essential parts of anything that you can do. Paying it forward means, in a sense, like, okay, so you watched this video. You heard everything that I said. It's the, it's the giving back to the people around you that surround you. Any form of anything that can better them, help them, help to their happiness, help to their goals, help to their anything. It's not about... It's not about whether you have the time or whether you have the money. There's always something that you could possibly give to these people that extends past it. And it's, that's the paying it forward that really does change the world. It's the changing of the world one step at a time. You can't change, you can't change the world in one, swing, like one single blow. It doesn't work like that. And if you do, thank you, because our world is in shambles. But it, you have to go one day at a time. And as many of y'all know, I'm sending Martin Teals to Columbus next week. Um, Columbus is in a week from today. All the professional players and most of the players will all be flying in next Thursday. Pretty much this exact time next week. And I sent Martin I sent Martin there. It was a lot deeper than what people think it was. I tweeted and I was like, someone tweet or actually no. Crucifix tweeted at me and was like, hey, will you help this, like, will you shout this guy out? He's got cancer. Will you try to help him out? And I was sitting in the library and I was like, sure, absolutely. And I kind of started thinking, as many of y'all know, my seven-year-old cousin passed away from cancer about a year back. And that was really hard on me. Um, seeing children pass away is just honestly the worst thing that could ever happen to someone. Watching parents lose a child is just absolutely horrible. And it changed my life. It made me sit back and think, what would happen to my mom if I were to one day not be there? 
what what would happen? I don't even I. It's such it's such a bigger concept that I can that I can't even speak about it. But I was sitting there and I was sitting and I was thinking about my cousin and how much he taught me, how he could sit here and go through chemo, radiation, go to all these different hospitals throughout the entire world and talk and like still have the biggest smile on his face, how he still genuinely cared about everyone. And like when everyone else was down about the fact that he was sick, he was the one that was he was the one that was happy. Like he was the one that was getting everyone back up. Like, Hey guys, I'm going to make it. I'm going to do this. I've got this. I'm going to be the one to do this. When everyone else was sad, he was the one that was cracking jokes. He was the one that was smiling. He was the one that was laughing. He was the one, the seven year old kid saying, mom, don't cry. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. And that's what's, that's what's changed my life the most. That's something that's just much greater than any individual can possibly ever be. Putting these kids through such things, it's sickening, it's saddening, and I just don't even know what to say about it. It's just, it's horrible. So when I heard about Martin, I tweeted out and said if he hit 10,000 subscribers before Ghost came out, I was gonna send him to an event. And as soon as people started seeing that tweet, in about a couple hours, I had a couple thousand retweets, and he had gone up. Our first original goal was to get him to a thousand followers. We got him to a thousand followers in about 15, 30 minutes. And then after we hit a thousand so fast, I was like, why are we going for a thousand? Two thousand. And we start flying up, and all of a sudden, I just get this deep thing inside of me that just makes me want to do more, that made me want to just take it to the next level. And I wanted him. I wanted him there. After I saw the entire community come together as one, to be honest, I've never seen an individual community come together as one as much as this. In my personal experiences, it's not a, it's it's not a same categorical comparison, but since 9/11, it was the most horrible thing that anyone in the world had ever happened, but it brought out the best in everyone. It was, it was something that was greater than me, greater than everyone, greater than everyone that helped and greater than everything that could have done, like that could have happened. And seeing, seeing all of these people trying to help better someone's life and make someone's dream come true, it melted my heart. I just, I had to. So I had already bought the ticket when he was at like 3,000, 4,000 followers. He's now at almost 7,000 and he's going to be at the event. I'm going to have him coach a couple of matches against FaZe, hopefully get him on main stage. And y'all, this video, I hope this video has meant a lot to y'all. Um, I hope you've watched the whole thing. Um, toss a like on it if you want, but this video, if I have to tell you one thing, pay it forward. Do your part. Do you. There's always something that you can do. You can always be better. No matter how good you are, no matter how great you are, no matter how perfect you think you are, you can always be better. You can always help more people. There's always more people in the, this world. People are dying from starvation every five seconds. The least you can do, help out someone, do your part, and just, I don't know, in any way, shape, or form, go tell the next person you see that you love them anything it's the little things that count it's the little things that matter well guys as always it's been a pleasure it's getting dark outside i hope y'all didn't hope y'all can still see me i have no idea got this little gopro thing that honestly is kind of intimidating because it's so small but well youtube this has been my video i hope y'all have enjoyed it toss a like leave a comment um i'll be making more videos i might even do a part two of this video but you know guys this is it, and as always, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Peace out, YouTube.